Here are all the brand new comic book series and all the hot key issues coming out April 1st, 2015 week. This is an amazingly huge week, the biggest week we have ever had at Hawkness Comics, ever. So many books to pick from, so let's get at them. We've got Rock and Roll Biographies. This is a new small print rock and roll biography series, and the first issue is about the heavy metal band Slayer. We've got Shahrazad. This is a relaunch of a year-old series from Big Dog Inc., and uh, same cover artwork. This one I really like, Psychedelic Colors for Space Riders number one, small print run from Black Mass Comics. UFOlogy is a cool mini series from Boom Studios. And Ravenous number one has a really cool cover from Creature Entertainment. This will definitely have a small print run and sell out. Puppet Master has a whole bunch of variant covers from Action Lab based on the classic horror series. Witcher Fox Children is a new series written by Paul Tobin over at Dark Horse. And it's a huge week for DC, probably the biggest week of the year for them. This is the final issue of the weekly Batman Eternal, which leads us into Convergence, which is their big miniseries for 2015. And there's nine issues. Number zero comes out this week. And the rarest variant of all is the Adam Hughes variant of Catwoman, Super Hot. This is the cover. This also marks the end of Earth 2 World's End, another weekly series ending where Darkseid takes over. And Harley Quinn has a huge week. It's the first appearance of the Gang of Harleys. There are four different variant covers. Here's the Elvis Presley Jailhouse Rock 1957 cover. And there's also a left and right connecting uh, 1 in 25 ratio variant cover set. And Future's End also ends after bringing back a new Batman Beyond. Something shocking might hear happen in the final issue, 48. Over at Dynamite Entertainment, Looking for a Group looks like a fun series and a bunch of variant covers. And Black Cross number one sold out very quickly, all the covers. And this is the hot title from Warren Ellis, and number two is out. They also give us a relaunch of Uncanny. This is season two, number one from Andy Diggle. And Heavy Metal Magazine relaunches Hoax Hunters, which used to be published by Image Comics. So this is going to be a fairly small print run, might go unnoticed by some. A lot of hype for this one, G.I. Joe. Does Cobra die in this issue, or is this the beginning of the storyline? Either way, this issue is selling out everywhere. Gem and the Holograms, number one. The, the individual covers came out last week, but the hardcover box edition is out today. It looks amazing. Highly recommended. Best box I've seen. My Little Pony Fiendship is Magic is a new mini series, and of course, very popular toy line. And Image gives us a new ongoing No Mercy from Alex DeCampi. This one might get uh, overlooked because there's so many books this week. Joe's book, uh, no, first print of Frozen, at the Disney movie adaptation, sold out very quickly. Here's the second printing. It has a completely different cover. This will probably sell out as well and always be popular. Poet Anderson Dreamwalker. This is from Magnetic Press. Very small print run. This one's going to sell out everywhere. Most stores will not even have ordered it. And for the month of April, we have a whole bunch of Howard the Duck variant covers over at Marvel, including this cool one, Amazing Spider-Man 17. These are called the What the Duck variants. Avengers Millennium, number one, is a new series starting. And of course, the Avengers... Ultron movie is coming out right away, so here we go. We've got Ultron Forever, and I think this one's even sold out in advance of release, so lots of hype and demand for the new Avengers movie. Star Wars titles have been selling out like crazy, so Darth Vader number one and number two both have second printings out today, but they are both sold out in advance of release, so you know third prints are definitely coming. George Romero's Empire of the Dead Act 3 is another miniseries. And it's got zombies and always popular. Guardians of the Galaxy, best story ever. I believe this is a one-shot from Tim Seeley. This could also get overlooked. It's got Thanos in it. And Star Wars, the fourth series from Marvel. This one is Kanan, Last Padawan. He is from the TV show Star Wars Rebels. And this is his first appearance in comic books, I believe. So this is overlooked by a lot. Very popular. And here's another one of those cool What the Duck variants. Spider-Gwen number three is out. Of course, all issues and covers will be popular. This one might be overlooked. And Star Wars number one, fourth printing. This is the pink cover. It's my favorite yet. And this one's going to sell out. 
Marvel is relaunching uh, about a dozen classic titles for only a dollar cover price to launch into the new Secret Wars storyline. Out this week, Age of Apocalypse and Marvel Zombies, number one, are both out. You can get these cheap. Marvel is not overprinting these dollar comics. They are going to sell out. And Uncanny Hidden Humans starts up with a new number zero. And here's the rarest of the variants. These are all going to be popular for Black Bolt fans. And these could tie into the Secret Wars storyline as well. Rick and Morty is a cartoon TV series on Adult Swim. And it's been turned into a comic book series. Here is the new number one. Speaking of TV series, Doctor Who. This is the ninth Doctor. This is a mini series at, uh, from Titan Comics. We'll uh, join your collection with the 10th, 11th, and 12th Doctors who all have ongoing series. There you go. Phew, that's over 30 hot books this week. And there's so many other good books. You can order any of these plus all the variants. We have bulk sales on a lot of these number ones for Marvel and DC available at our website, hawknesscomics.com. Check out my weekly reports that I post on my website. Also, we have a Google's discussion group where I post a whole bunch of specials and anything to do with news about books selling out, etc. Of course, also check out my weekly reports at comicsheatingup.net where you can find out all about the latest books selling out and heating up. Thanks for watching.